Back to the Steinle verdict, the Remembrance Project. Now, that is an anti-illegal immigration non-profit organization based in Texas. And it maintains a list of American citizens killed by illegal immigrants in America. Joining us, co-founder, national director, Maria Espinosa. Maria, um, I, I just run off the bat. Uh, I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to be Kate Steinle's parents and receive this verdict. Your reaction, please. That's shocking. Stuart, thank you for having me on again. It's, it's a, a, a terrible travesty to all Americans, not just the Steiny family. There are so many stolen lives, families who are suffering, continue to suffer, Stuart, and this is a blow to them. And I want to give out our uh, phone number where they can call, where our families can call and get help. I know this is devastating to them, 800-222-9691. And this is an example, Stuart, of how these liberal cities and elected officials place Ill aliens above these American citizens. Well, Maria, is this all about the Hispanic vote? Can a Democrat politician in a city like San Francisco afford to say, no, we're not going to be a sanctuary city, and yes, build a wall? No Democrat can say that. It's not all about votes, Stuart. As you know, Many Republicans, like our even Speaker of the House, Paul Ryan, you know, they, they kowtow to their open borders lobbyists, special interest groups in order to be reelected. So this has to stop. The common sense must be injected into our society again. Enforce current laws, build the wall, enforce, e verify all across the United States, mandate that's done by every company, all the way down to the contractors. So you know, I ask your listeners to put their elected officials on every level of government, their, their phone numbers in your speed mm. dial, and call and call and don't give up. And we at the Remembrance Project are not giving up, Stuart. We're going to win this for every single stolen lives family and every American. You are Hispanic yourself, or, or of Hispanic yeah. descent, I believe. Uh, your father was from Mexico, settled in Texas, is that correct? Yes, that's right, Stuart, and he came here the right way. My mother is fifth generation, and however, look at this. It doesn't matter if you're Hispanic. Right. You know, we want laws enforced. We want safe communities where our families, our children can, can play, where we can work and be fruitful, when there are where there are jobs for Americans and those legally authorized to work in the UN, United States. But we don't want chaos, mayhem, and MS-13 gang members you know, roaming the streets or recruiting from our, our schools. You know, we have a duty, and our elected officials have a duty to protect our country and enforce the borders and place President Donald Trump's America First agenda first and foremost priorities and build the wall. Maria Espinosa, thank you very much for being with us this morning. It is much appreciated. Thank you, Stuart. Yes, ma'am. God thank bless you. you. God bless indeed.